Hello, hello. Welcome to another another stream. Um, this is, of course, me playing games, and I'm going to play. I'm just pulling up this game here. We're taking a break from Final Fantasy Adventure tonight, or today, or whenever you watch this. And we're going to play another game from my childhood. And I think this is just something that we're going to do for a while. And if you guys have suggestions for games you think I should play, I know I'm just doing Game Boy games right now. But um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, this is probably just going to be a one-off tonight. Um, but I want to show you guys this game because it's pretty amazing. The Mildly Racist... Game Boy Classic, Mr. Chin's Gourmet Paradise. It is a like a like a platformer arcade game, I guess you would call it. So, uh, made by Romstar Incorporated. I'm not familiar with that name. As you can see, there's Mr. Chin and the little spiky dudes. Let's start, shall we? Ah, uh, he's so cute. In a mildly racist way. So the basic controls, jump and set a trap. The traps, send electricity. And as you'll notice, these little spiky dudes move at different speeds. Run! Oh, no. uh, at the top right there, you can see I have a certain number of lives left, as well as it shows me how many enemies I have left to consume to pass the level. Um. Um. Bonus stage. I love the bonus stages. Because if you do them right... Now, the interesting thing is you're seeing these lines here. The lines, I can pass through them, but the enemies cannot. So, I'm not doing it. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Stage three. So, one of the fun things about this game is you think, oh, well, crap, how am I gonna pass this uh, level? And what I have always liked to do is create traps. So, for example, um, oh, I kind of, okay, so I know I don't want them to go past here. So I create this little. Oh, come on, these controls are backwards. So I make open that little hole, and I know now. That they are going to be in there. So now I come over here. Now if I do this. Oh, see, I got a cherry bomb and I turn all the dudes into. Bleh. Okay, now this is the tricky part. Okay. Run really fast. Okay, now they're all going to fall in there. I am so smart. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. The fruits of my labor.
And there you go. So a lot of the levels, I'm pretty sure there are only eight levels in this game. Um. Stage four. Oh, I like this one. I like the music in this one too. Oh, this means I can now see. There's cool little power-ups like that. And I like to kind of destroy a lot of the level. See, so a lot of these, it's funny because a lot of these, they're really is, they're setting you up for easy street, man. Oh crap. Oh crap. Am I safe? Am I safe? See, he's a slower dude, so he, oh. Pardon me, good sir. Cherry bomb. Um. So it's almost like a little puzzle platformer thing. I'm pretty sure there's only like, oh, is this a bonus stage? This is a bonus stage. Okay, now if I make this jump the first time, oh no. Now this is what you want. Because you want. Not too there we go. No, 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 no. And it's all in kilocalories too. He's like a little fat Chinese guy eating all these peaches. Okay, this one's a little bit weird. Stage six, people. Oh, this is the weird one. Um, oh, they're all weird. Because it's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh jeez. Oh. I'm only playing until I die. Oh, no. Oh. I'm only playing until I lose. Yeah, this, so, I don't know. I really like this game. It's pretty fun. I used to play this game, like, I don't know, like, at the time, I don't even think it registered as racist, to be honest. Just because, you know, I was a kid, and sometimes you just play games because they're fun. But, uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty silly. It's a, you know. I mean, just an innocent little game, right? Um, I would actually love to know more about the development of this game. And like, was it Western developed? Was it more like an Asian, like Japanese developed game? I don't really know much about the development of the game. I just know I like it. I like for... 
what it stands for in the history of weird video game choices. That you choose to have a little fat Chinese man as your mascot. Oh, this is the one that, like... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see? This is why this one's weird. Oh, crap. Aww. Little Chinese man is sad. Well, I think that's good enough. Hope you enjoyed this look at Mr. Chin's Gourmet Paradise. I know I did. Um... Thanks everybody for listening. You can uh, we're gonna be recording Nintendo Dads tomorrow. Um, trying to think nine o'clock Mountain Standard Time, so you can check us out then. Uh, I, this was intended to be a little bit of a shorter episode, a uh, little let's play here, but uh, it was fun nonetheless. So thanks for stopping by, and um, see you again soon. Bye bye.